This is going to be a brief overview of the open water training course. And of course today, the training could not be really easier, more convenient, or safer than of course when I got certified back in the 70s. Usually the first question we get is, how many steps are there in the certification process? Well, basically there's three steps. The first step is what we call academics. Now that's get smart about diving. So what's going to happen is you'll either come in or you can call us or you can email us and sign up for your course. Now, when you do that, we're going to ask you some questions. And of course, if you come in, you'll fill out your paperwork like this folder here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give you an online code. Now, if you call us, we can do this over the phone and send you these forms and such and the code by email. So we're happy to help you. We have a lot of folks that come from out of state up north that do their academics uh, in the convenience of their own home up there. And then they'll make a trip down here to Florida to do their uh, pool, or they may do their pool up there, but they can come down here and do their pool and their open water, which are the second and third parts of the training. When you're doing your online training, the beauty is you can do it from your laptop, you can do it from your iPad or whatever kind of device you would like. You can do it even from a smartphone. And not every agency lets you do that. Or if they do the online training, they charge you extra for online training. And of course, you get your choice of book training or online training. Uh, with diver supply. At the same time, most people find it much more convenient to do their training online. Now, the online academics only take about a total of five hours. Sign on for 30 or 40 minutes when you've got a break, or you can sit down and do the whole thing if you want to over a weekend. Once you complete your course, you're going to get the ability to print out your results and see how you did. We also will be able to look and see how you're doing on your academics. If you have questions while you're doing ac your academics, call us here at Diver Supply, talk to one of the instructors, and we'll be glad to help you work through those things. But most of the time, people find it extremely convenient to do the online training. Now, once we see that you've completed it, we will print out your results and place it into your student folder so that when you come in for your next phase, we have those ready for you to review. Now, your second phase are your pool skills. Now, depending on the location, those uh, schedules somewhat vary. But normally what we do is we have a Thursday evening, Friday evening, what we call fast track. And of course, this is just a few people. Usually we limit it to four people. And you're able to come in on Thursday evening, Friday evening, and then you're able to go to your open water on Saturday and Sunday. So if you have just a short amount of time to complete your entire training, you could choose Fast Track. There's no additional fee for Fast Track. Now, when you do your training, you could also do it on the weekend, half day Saturday, half day Sunday. Few more people in that class. We limit that to eight per instructor. And those are really wonderful. It's a bit more laid back atmosphere. So that's a lot of fun to get camaraderie and see how other folks are doing. So you might want to choose the Saturday and Sunday. Now, we also offer what we call private pool sessions, okay? Because the price uh, of your course is normally based on group pool, group open water. But you can schedule a private pool and group open water if you prefer. 
That gives you one-on-one -on -one, or maybe you and, and your significant other would like to just be with the instructor. And in that particular case, we call that uh, private for one and the other person just pays the group, uh, the group amount. So that usually works out wonderfully and we can schedule that around your particular um, schedule. I had a gentleman that worked for Walmart and his wife worked for a hospital. They were only off Thursday, Friday, so we were able to accommodate them on Thursday, Friday. Now in the third phase, once your pool instructor has signed off that you've accomplished learning your scuba skills, then you will schedule, make sure you call your location, your diver supply location, and schedule onto your manifest the weekend that you want to go to your open water session. Now this is a Saturday and a Sunday, and we also offer a private session for this, and of course, yes, there's an extra fee for it, but we can meet pretty much anybody's schedule. A lot of times we have folks call us and say, hey, I'm going on a cruise, I'm going on a trip with my family, they're all divers, I need to quickly get uh, certified and we're able to help them either with our normal schedule because we actually go to the Springs every weekend far beyond what most other shops do and if that doesn't work and you need to be you know deal with something during the week then we can schedule a private instructor for you during the week. Normally your open water training is conducted down here in the Florida Springs it's really excellent because the water in the springs is 72 degrees year round. So during the summer, it feels great. During the winter, it's actually warmer than some of the outside temps. On the open water trip, when we go to the springs, we'll usually meet at Blue Grotto Resort. I'm gonna put a link to the Blue Grotto Dive Resort right over here. Go on their website, take a look. They've got a great video over there and look at the accommodations, look at the facilities, that sort of thing, and get familiar with it before you're actually going to go. Now, your instructor should send you an email about the details of your dive trip, that dive weekend, on the week, during the week, before you're supposed to go. Now, what we'll do is on Saturday, we'll actually make two dives at Blue Grotto. It's a wonderful dive resort. It's excellent for learning. Now, Saturday night, we usually stay down at Crystal River. So on Sunday morning, we meet over at KP Hole County Park. It's on the Rainbow River, beautiful spring-fed river, crystal clear, just like your swimming pool. And what we'll do is we'll make two drift dives that will complete your certification. Once we're done with those two dives, we have some paperwork to complete, and then you're gonna get a hearty handshake from your instructor, and we're gonna take a group picture. Now, we're usually done over there by two, so it's pretty convenient to get back to Atlanta or South Carolina, North Carolina, or back over here into Florida. Uh, without any trouble. Once you complete your certification, you're going to receive a hard card. In addition, you're going to receive free a downloadable e-card for your phone. And what we see here in the shops is a lot of times people forget to carry their hard card, but they've always got their phones. Now, just remember, that this happens to be about a $40 value in being able to have that downloadable uh, phone card. So it's an important value within the, uh, uh, within the diver supply courses. If you have any questions at all, please give us a call. Thanks for watching. I'm Bob Collins for Diver Supply.